Hi guys, it's Christine. How is everybody? Oh my gosh, this iPhone X is no joke. I am a little afraid of how good the quality is. Ooh. Say hi when you hop on guys. How is everybody? I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Hi Leah, hi Lisa. Okay, so um, let's share this really quick and we're gonna get going. I am super red, I've got some yucky stuff I want to cover up and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Hey Alex. <clears throat> Alex, you should come on with me, girl. We could have some fun. Um, okay, so let me share this to my page. I have an announcement too I want to tell you guys. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to share this to... Um, <laughs> okay, never mind, Alex. <laughs> So I have been sick for two weeks. Um, yeah, so if I'm coughing, that's why. I'm not choking, I'm just, my ear has been plugged for two days. I share, oh, thank you. Oh, I think I just did that too. Let me share it to one other group and we're gonna get going. Yeah, my ear has been plugged for two days. I've been sick for two weeks. It's like, really? Come on now. I should be getting better by now. Okay, guys. So this iPhone X is like seriously the clearest pictures I've ever been able to take on my phone. And I'm telling you right now, I can tell like even this live, I don't know how it's going to look on, on um, your side, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I am not comfortable right now. So let's hurry up and get some magic foundation on my face before like I have a breakdown because no likey, okay? Um, so, primer. Say hi when you hop on, guys. So I'm using the First Base Makeup Primer. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And then I'm gonna go over what did I do with my, oh, so I'm gonna use Dr. Brand's pores no more, but I'm gonna put it on the end of like a little disposable sponge and push it into the holes in my face because I have a lot of, um, yes, a fun eye look. I think so, I think it's gonna be fun. Oh, I practiced on my hand, but then I wiped it off. Um, yeah, I wanna do something fun with my eyes. I have not like really put makeup on. Hey, Tanya, hey, stranger. Um, I haven't put makeup on in forever because I've been like seriously a zombie trying to get over this uh, virus or whatever yucky stuff I had going on. <clears throat> so I'm pushing this primer into the areas where I have like big pores or like scars. Hi, Julie. Hey, um, okay, so big announcement right off the bat before I forget, cause I like to forget things. Yeah, girl, you've been MIA. Okay, so thank you for sharing, Julie. You're so sweet. Um, okay, my Christine's Makeup Lounge is no longer Christine's Makeup Lounge. So if you've been looking for my makeup group and you can't find it, that's why I changed the name to um, Confidence and Curls, just like my business page. And the reason why I did that is because I don't really do a lot of promoting of uh, my products in there or anything um, in there that I don't do on my personal page. So it's kind of like the only reason why I need to even have that group is so that I can do giveaways, that I can give you guys stuff because I cannot do that publicly. So um, look for my group. If you had um, been in Christine's Makeup Lounge before, it's now Confidence and Curls. And uh, make sure your notifications are on. You can still get in for this month's customer appreciation giveaway. There's a lot of different ways you can get um, giveaway entries. Okay, I think I'm done with this. I'm like having way too much fun with that. Um, so 
that group is now for giveaways only. So head over there. I want to hear what you guys want. I want to hear like there's a tons of tons of different um, items that you can win. So tell me what you want to see as prizes. I would love your feedback. Okay, so I got my primer. Let's get some like really good coverage going. I can't wait to cover up my red face. Um, so I am going to do this. I need a little spatula. Here we go. Okay, I have this little plastic spatula. And the best way to get good coverage, hey Leah. Um, hi, Sarah. Hey, thank you. Okay, so the best way to get coverage is, I don't know, in my opinion, I don't know. Maybe somebody else might have a different opinion, but hey, my soul. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to scrape a little bit of foundation out, which that's like too much. This stuff is professional grade, guys. And what that means is that it's so highly pigmented that you don't need very much. That goes for the foundation, that goes for the concealer, it goes for the eyeshadows, even the bronzer and the blush. I've had people message me like, oh my gosh, I went and like scrubbed my brush in the bronzer, put it on my face, and it was like, they were shocked how um, pigmented it was. Oh, thank you, my dear. Well, I missed you, I'm glad you're on. I'm glad we caught you. My daughter's going to Paris and it feels, ooh. I have yet to be to go to Europe. I've been to Japan. I lived there for three years, but we never went to Europe. Okay, so this is foundation Shinto. Uh, I was gonna say Shinto two. This is Shinto zero. It is for um, light complexion, but yellow undertones. But I'm gonna mix some foundation. I mean, some concealer in. I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer three. This has um, pink undertones, just slightly. It's like salmon, they say. It's like fancy salmon. So I'm gonna like seriously use like this much. It's so small, if you can see like the size to my finger now. And I'm gonna mix it in there um, just for extra coverage, but to also give that yellow undertone just a little bit of pink. Okay, so I'm just like scraping this off. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you something right now too. This foundation is so versatile. You can, um, like I'm lucky I have all of the foundations because, well almost all of them, because I'm a beauty guide, right? And I do makeup on other people so I want all of the shades. Except for I have to get all of three in Shinto three. But, um, squirrel, but, um, while you're transitioning, especially like during the season changes, like going into summer, going into winter, and you're kind of like in between colors, you can mix them together so easy, you guys. Look, they just melt. Melt with your body heat, like that, okay? And so now, I like to do my foundation first before my eyes, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just putting on my little concoction here Boop, 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 boop. And I don't really do a lot under my eyes because I just do like mostly um, concealer. What is it you are using a, pro a professional? No, this is just like for samples. Let me know if you guys want one of these because um, I can get them in my supplies and put them in with your samples. I try to do that, but sometimes I forget. Okay. Damp, Blenderful, the Rolls Royce of Blending Buds. Super, super small pores equals super nice finish. Yes, yes, this is Limelight by Alcone. Girlfriend, what's up, Linda? And so like, you can also just go like this and just keep adding the product to your face. You need a little spatula. You Girls, you guys can use like whatever, but I recommend, hello, you know, being like, using something that's clean, <laughs> obviously. But uh, I use the spatulas and then I'll just like reuse them for myself. 
and I'll clean them off with um, just like a makeup wipe or you could spray some alcohol, rubbing alcohol onto something and, um, and wipe it off to sanitize it. Use a baby spoon, see, yeah. I know some girls use like, um, just like the end of a makeup brush, just like super quick. But gotta make sure it's clean, girls, cause you don't wanna be putting bacteria on your face. Okay, so you see that glow right there? I have far from perfect skin. As you can see, if, you, if you're just hopping on right now, you're catching like uh, partially covered skin, but it was not pretty, folks. Lifetime worth of acne, rosacea, broken capillaries. I know, Linda, I've been sick. I have been so sick, and it seems like everybody is sick right now. I've been sick for two weeks, and I was like, I really want to go live. I miss, I miss talking to people. I miss being live, but I just couldn't do it. You know, it was like all I could do to like be a mom and like make it, you know, throughout the day. So I'm gonna drag this down here. So check that out. Check it. Check it out. Hey girls, say hi when you hop on. See some people I haven't seen in a long time. Hey Emily and Catherine. Okay, so this sponge is amazing. It feels so good. I cannot stop like pushing it into my skin. Okay, and another thing too, I have some um, texture on my nose here that I really dislike and the more powder I put on it, the more that texture will show up. My lips are super red because I exfoliated with Scrub Teeny. It's amazing. If you need a lip exfoliator, send me a message. Um, so I really, really, really like just to just kind of like stick with the foundation and concealer on my nose and try not to put a lot of powder there because then it makes that texture show up. Yes, I dampen my blender full. Just run it under water and squeeze it out. I use it um, probably for a week or two and then I'll wash it with um, my Method dish soap and squeeze it out and then you can use it right after that because you want it damp anyways and then it's clean. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lift up this camera a little bit. There we go. I feel like I'm like hunching over. Okay. So I've got a good little limelight glow here. I've covered up a lot of the redness and imperfections. I do, Alex. And you know what? I'm going to have some product credit next month. And you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get that, the um, Come Clean sponge and brush cleaner, which is like all natural. And then I'm also going to get the Bare Metals palette. It's coming out in January, you guys. Last month we had it, but it was in a collection with a liquid eyeliner and a brush, and I already have those things, so I didn't wanna buy that. So now I'm gonna buy the palette, and I'm so excited. And you can buy them in individual um, shades, too. Sometime, I think, what did they say March? I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that. But for sure, the palette comes out on its own individually in January. Yes, I can't wait. That would be a great giveaway. I said so many products right now, Julie. I have no idea which one. <laughs> okay, so um, I got my foundation on. I had mixed it with a little bit of concealer. Um, if you're just hopping on, say hi. Um, now what are we gonna do? Oh, the blender full. Girl, we had, it was a gift with purchase last month. Mm, or November, I can't remember. Okay. Let's do contouring. Yes. So I'm gonna do some eyeshadow tonight too. I wanna do a fun, warm, neutral look. Um, I never really know if it's gonna be day or night until I like get into it and start really doing it because you can really nighttime something up just by adding like more of the dark brown. Um, so we'll have to see, I'm not really sure but I'm gonna get some of the Perfect Bronzer. This is my blush 
bronzer powder palette here. You can have like six different things. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to use the perfect bronzer and I'm just going to chisel in some cheekbones here. I was always I was told Rudy, um, so we drove to his sister's for Christmas and it was a three hour drive. And you guys, if you know me, if you follow me, you know I'm late everywhere. So my husband was, he knows how I roll. He goes, babe, just grab your makeup, throw it in the car, let's go do your makeup on the road. So I did and I had fun. I was doing my makeup, taking my sweet time, trying not to poke myself in the eye with my mascara and all of that. And um, I told him, I keep accidentally taking my um, contour too far. You know, with the way that your face goes, you wanna make sure that you stop at the end of your eye right here. And it, sometimes it looks like I take it over too far. And he goes, well, why do you keep doing that? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't help it. So look, you can just clean it up like that. You know, you don't want your contour to go all the way to the corner of your mouth. No girls. But I keep trying to do it that way. So I heard that when you store your makeup that you should store your powder makeup with your liquid makeup. I've never heard that before. I only use a tra uh, translucent powder because with this foundation you don't need um a color powder so i don't know store makeup you should store your powder makeup with your liquid oh shouldn't i don't know i don't know you have to talk to me about that later i have no idea so i'm just contouring i'm just taking it up here i have a round kind of like a heart shape face so I really want to focus on bringing my face in. Not so much contouring here. I don't have like a, a big forehead or anything like that. So I'm just like sticking to here and then I'll contour under here. And my hair is kind of thin right now, folks. So I'm like going to go ahead and contour my scalp. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm having fun. Okay, let's contour under here. Now see, I have a little bit of a blemish right here that you can still kind of see. And what I like to do, if I do have something like that, which for the most part, I don't really ever add on concealer on my face. It's usually just my under eyes, but I do the concealer on top of my foundation because when I, whenever I do like a concealer under my foundation and then I start like sponging stuff on, it just kind of wipes it off anyways. So I like to do that on top. And then blend it with my blender full. So let me get some blush on. What's the difference between LL bronzer? To, oh wait, it cut off. It cut off. What's the difference between Limelight bronzer to to like a different brand this is just highly pigmented so um hey you i hear people behind me um same thing with the blush marisol and the bronzer it's just very highly pigmented so you only need a little bit you can't be like scrubbing your brush in there or else you're going to end up looking like you're going to war basically so i do a little bit of bronzer a little bit of blush and then i save my under eye concealer for after i do my eyes oh my god is it ever oh pigmented the blush yeah same thing so let's do this let's spray with some 16 oh 16 I don't know just let's just blame it on the sickness I can't read I can't think I can't talk 10 years younger um, finishing spray this stuff will keep your foundation on like all day long right there 16 hours that's where I got the 16 from okay so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do brows and eyes and then we'll do concealer and all that good stuff like that 
But if you want to set your, um, your face with powder, it helps keep your foundation on too. So you can do like the translucent powder like this. And I personally did a lot of research on YouTube and watching like other makeup artists and stuff. And they talk about how like you don't want to get a fluffy brush with your translucent powder and brush it on because then you're, you're making the texture of your skin show up more. So you really just want to press it in with a sponge. So you have texture if you want to hide it. This is what you do. Okay. My chin is probably my most scarred area along with my cheeks. That's okay. Um, okay, let's do some eye primer. I have two favorite eye primers right now. Urban Decay and NYX. This is actually a glitter primer, but um, the powder with a, a dry sponge. Um, this stuff is like, if you want your lid, like the shimmer on your lid to like pop like crazy, you want to use something like this, like serious industrial strength um, primer, <laughs> eye primer. But I'm going to use Urban Decay for right now. And then I'm going to put some concealer over the top of that. Oh, I have a little bug in my office flying around. So, I need that Urban Decay Primer. Do you guys see the little fly? I have no idea how it's even in the house because it's freezing. The doors have been closed. Okay, this is my waterproof concealer palette. I really love Concealer Zero right now because I'm super, super fair. So I put this on top of that eye primer and then just push it in and then I'm gonna set it with that translucent powder so that it doesn't crease and it stays on. Hi, Janet. Hi, David. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming to see me. I'm just playing. I've been gone for like two, dude, I haven't been live for like two weeks. So, I was just dying to get on and talk to you guys. Um, also, too, I was talking about, I'm just going to set my eyes here. I was talking about how um, my makeup lounge, it was called Christine's Makeup Lounge. It was my private VIP group. It's no longer called that. I just named it Confidence and Curls after my uh, business page because I really don't do any promoting in there anymore. I'm just kind of like revamping it to be all about giveaways. So I want to give you guys stuff, give back to thank you for supporting me and my business. So head on over there, turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss ways on earning like giveaway entries or like bonuses. Like, um, there we go. Okay. Okay, so my eyelids are set. Let's do some brows. Let's do brows before we do eyeshadow because that will like make all the difference. So I'm really into using the that 10 years younger that I used earlier and an eyeshadow on my brows right now. I actually use two different shades. So I just took the lid off and dropped a drop of this stuff into the lid because I don't want to spray my brush because it wastes that precious product. So all I need is a couple little drops for my brow, my angled brow brush. And I'm going to dip it into that just to get it a little bit damp. And this is my um, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use... You can tell which one I like to use for my brows, huh? Because it has like little spots in it right here. This is called La Vida Mocha. Now, a lot of brunettes like to use 
brownie points, but to me, it's a little bit too warm for my hair tone, and so I like that cooler brown. So I actually like to use La Vida Mocha and um, this one, Ashen for Trouble, as my lighter color for my brows. So let's just do some quick brows. Just shape them a little bit, get the top, get the bottom. Super fast. If you mess up too, guys, you can um, just take like a straight edge brush and clean it up like a little eraser. So how, how awesome and fast was that? I just did a little bit of shaping and now I'm just gonna kind of like wipe off my brush with the extra shadow. Um, now I like to have this center here a little bit lighter, not a lot of product filled in there. So I'm just gonna wipe off my brush and just push whatever's there up. And then I'm gonna take that Ashen for Trouble with my dry brush. My brows are already wet, so I don't need to add any more product. And I'm just gonna like fill it in over here. Oops. So if I was to mess up, I would just take my brush and kind of go like this. Some people like to put concealer um, all around their brows, but I ain't got time for that unless I'm trying to be like really fancy. Cause I've done it and it does look amazing, but that's not for me, that's not like doable on a daily basis. I don't want to be like putting concealer everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's do this one. Check out the difference there. La Vida Mocha. So tell me, can you guys tell the difference in the quality of this live video to my usual ones? Gotta add a little bit of shape up here. Because I feel like when I brought up this video and I looked at my face, I started to freak out. It's like, whoa, this phone's a little too good. So I'm just shaping these a little bit on the top and then wipe off the product on the inside. Try to straighten this line a little bit. Okay, push this line up with not very much product left on the brush. Get a little bit of Ashen for Trouble as a lighter shade and clean this up because I went crazy. And that's it, you guys. Brows are done. And yeah, let's get to eyeshadow, shall we? How do you like your new style? I actually love my new iPhone. Um, a lot of people, I posted on my page like, hey, should I get the iPhone 8S, 8S Plus or should I get the iPhone X? And for a while, I was like dead set on getting the 8, but then I started to look at the picture quality online and do more research and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys know, I have to get like the crisp, clear pictures because there was a huge difference. Um, and plus it has the, um, I think the eight has this too, but it has a portrait setting for when you're taking selfies where it blurs out everything behind you, which is like really cool. Uh, but this one has it too. So let's start with my favorite, favorite, favorite transition shade brush. This is Morphe G17, excuse me. And I'm gonna be using my perfect eyeshadows. Portrait is my fave, I love it. Okay, so I just got this bad boy right here. Um, it's called One Night Sand. And it is like the perfect transition shade to start with for almost every look. Unless I was going for like, um, 
I mean, even if you use this with like blacks and grays, it's still gonna look good. Just, it's amazing. I love this one. I'm so glad I finally got it. Um, when I went to go see my girls in Tulsa, everybody had the full palette but me. See like the, um, oh, the full palette is called The Feeling is Neutral. And when I joined Limelight, it was out of stock. So I had to buy um, the shadows individually in palettes of like four and six. So I've been piecing together this palette and I literally have one, two, three, four, five left until I have the full palette. So I didn't have this one yet and all the girls waited and they got their palettes when it came back. And I was like, well, gosh, I'm not gonna buy the palette because hello, I already almost have it all. So anyways, I played with this shade and I was like, oh, MG, I have got to get it. And like you barely tap your brush into these eyeshadows and there's so much product, there's so much pigment on here. Like I know with like my Morphe eyeshadows, I have to like dig in there a little bit, get a lot of powder on there. But look, when I just barely, that's why it looks so like powdery all over the place because when you barely tap it, it just like falls apart, it like crumbles. Love it. So let's play. Yes, you do. And you know, a lot of people use um, this one. Oh, I guess my sticker fell off. This one is called Taupe for the Best and a lot of people will use this one for contouring. I tried it, I'm not like a huge fan. I think I need to do it again. But I do love bronzer so far as my favorite contour. So does anybody have the iPhone X? Give me some hearts if you have the iPhone X. Give me some thumbs if you have the eight. I'm curious. Light and fluffy brush, yes. We want a very soft airbrushed look. Never goes on sale, you need to get a hold of me. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay guys, we also, I have to tell you that we have free shipping until the end of this month, so time is running out. And I believe we still have some of our holiday products on sale. Limelight never puts stuff on sale. And a lot of our collections um, are 25% off. So you should really take advantage of it right now. Get your 25% off, get your free shipping. Also shipping is going, they are hustling in that warehouse right now. They are moving so fast. Um, I had um, one of my customers purchase something and within 48 hours it was on her doorstep and she didn't even pay for expedited shipping. And that was before Christmas. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my smaller blending brush. This is one of my faves. It's um, Morphe R35. And this is like light and fluffy, but it's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna use some blush hour. It's like this neutral dark pink, mauve kind of. And I'm just gonna put that right here super super pretty transition shade especially if you have blue eyes if you've got blue eyes this is the color for you like you need this color i mean i have um brown and green eyes and i still love it I'm just blending this into that transition shade so it's nice and soft. And let's do the other eye. Super soft, um, very, very light pressure is like the best way for you to get a really good blend. If you have issues with your um, eyeshadow looking really like choppy or broken up and uneven, really, really get a better brush, 
probably, and a lighter hand. So super, super light. Okay, so now is about the time where I go back and get that beginning color and just kind of like make sure that I have a really good blend between those two. I'm like a really big stickler on blending. I go back and I look at like my old video tutorials and my pictures of when I first really started to learn how to do eyeshadow and it's like, oh, I can't handle like um, sharp lines. I can't do that. I can't, mm -mm, it's like a pet peeve now. Hi, Jamie, hi, Lachelle. All right, so I'm just blending this in. Now, I am dying to get my hands on the Bare Metals palette. There are two colors in there that, I'm trying to remember the names, rose-colored glasses and then the gold one that I absolutely love. And I actually got to play with those um, in November. So I'm going to substitute. I gotta substitute a different brand, a different color uh, for the lid because I don't have my Bare Metals palette yet. But we're gonna use something really close to what, kind of what rose colored glasses looks like. That's one of the shades in the Bare Metals palette. So I'm gonna get a flat synthetic brush. I love using that for my lid. And I'm actually gonna get my Jaclyn Hill palette and use, what is this one? It's called Faint. It's like kind of like a light shimmery pink. And I'm gonna put that on the lid. And I really focus just on like the inner three quarters. Cause I'm gonna bring the darker shades over here and focus the darker colors and the outer V. And so because I'm gonna blend that a lot, I don't really need to put a lot of this over there. I still need this palette, girlfriend. You totally do. I, look, I love Morphe. I love um, Limelight Perfect Eyeshadows. I love them all. They're all a little bit different. I just like to have all the colors. I just need all the colors at, like that exist of eyeshadows. I do not discriminate. I want all of them. I love my Morphe 35P, the plums that I got. You can definitely, they're very inexpensive. You can definitely tell the difference in quality, but I still like them. They're still good. And I don't have to use only limelight. You don't have to. Don't feel like you have to use one brand and one brand only. You can love more than one brand. Okay, so let's blend this a little. I've got hooded eyes, ladies. So if you're looking for looks, you've got hooded eyes, you want to watch my tutorials. Let's add a little bit of that blush hour over here to the outer V. Okay, I did wanna ask you guys one question too. I ask you guys a lot of questions because I'm curious. I want to pick your brains. I was wondering, what kind of looks are you guys more into? Are you into like daytime neutrals? Are you into nighttime looks? Or are you into like really, really bright, colorful eyeshadow looks? I'm curious. So comment below, let me know what you are like into right now. What are you saving on your Pinterest? What are you, what kind of tutorials are you searching for? You know, let me know because I've been really going for like natural looks, like Alex said but I also like to have fun and change it up and do some crazy colors too. Okay, so let's get a little bit smaller with our brushes and I'm gonna add some 
a corkable. So it's like warm, medium brown. And I'm just gonna focus that kind of like over here in the outer V and bring it a little bit over. That gorgeous light is with the ring light. Yes, I just have my um, my mini halo light. So I'm just adding like a little bit of darkness. Actually, maybe I wanna use my R35. I don't know, let's see, let's try it. Oh, I kinda like that one better. The other one was like too small. Yeah, so let me know what kind of looks that you guys are looking for tutorials on and I would be more than happy to to oblige yeah I like to change it up you know so look we're just adding in a little bit of darkness on the outer V a little bit on the outside crease and then we're gonna get a little bit darker And of course, you know, I'm talking to you guys and having like a full on conversation with myself right now. So this is going to take longer for me now than it is if you were to do this like in the morning before work, you could just throw it on because you're not talking to anybody like I am. Kind of like brush this over in the middle right there. Um, and I say this all the time too, that don't freak out until you, um, I love the neutral and smoky eye look. Okay, cool. So like, for example, when I was in the car going to Christmas, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to like these colors. I just kind of like threw some colors together. And I started to kind of freak out a little bit because, you know, I don't have my eyeliner and my mascara on. And so I was like, Christine, calm down, pump the brakes, because I really wanted to get a makeup wipe and just take it all off. And I was like, you never know, Christine, talking yourself down off a cliff here. You never know what it's going to look like until you do your eyeliner and mascara. And guess what? It looks good. So don't freak out. When you get a little crazy and you try to experiment with new colors and you're starting to panic, put on your eyeliner, put on your mascara, and then yes, you can't judge till it's all done. You'd be surprised what colors will look good together once you get the eyeliner and mascara on. Okay, so let's get some brownie points. And shoot, I'm gonna stick with that same brush, why not? Just a little, you guys, it's so pigmented, like you do not want to put a lot. I'm not even gonna get more. I'm just gonna brush this in first. Super, super light. Did everybody have a good Christmas? We went to San Antonio to see my husband's family. They're all from San Antonio area. We had a good time. My boys are very, very happy with the toys that they got for Christmas. I kind of like got two big things and that was it for them. And they're pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna get a little bit more blush hour with my G17 and just kind of like make sure I have a good blend right here. Maybe a little bit of that accorkable. I like to really focus on this outer V right here. It really opens up the eyes. And like for me, I have kind of small eyes, especially when I smile and my cheeks kind of squish them up a little bit. So I like to do all that I can to make my eyes appear larger than they really are. Okay, 
Okay. So I think I'm going to get some brownie points and get that over here. And then I'm gonna throw on some eyeliner and mascara. Gotta figure out what lip color I wanna put on today. Like seriously, so pigmented. I just have to be like very, very careful how much product I get on my brush. These shadows are gonna last me forever, you guys. I have a new perfect mascara that I cannot wait to use. Got a little bit of that blush hour and just kind of like use that to blend. Yes, okay. So, that is it for the lids, you guys. Check that out. Check it. Where are my... Okay, so I'm, I have two perfect eyeliners right now. One is like super, super old and one is brand new. So, let's figure out which is which. You can probably tell because one is all rubbed off and faded on the label and one isn't. <laughs> So let's try to use the old one and see how it works. Let's do a little bit of a wing. Look, this is my old one and it just goes on like butter. You don't even have to hold your lid, folks. I have missed makeup in the two weeks that I've been sick. I typically like a pretty thin line, especially like on the inside. And then I like to make it thicker when I get out here and I get the wing going. Oh my God, I'm not brave enough. I have, no girl, you don't, you know what? Play around because you do not have to hold your lid. Oh, is it dying out on me now? It's moody. That's why I have this one. Now I also, because I have small eyes, I like to steer clear of the dark liner on the bottom. That's just me. I like to stick with, um, with eyeshadows down there and kind of like smoke it out. I personally just feel like the, the black liner on the bottom is a little bit too harsh, but I, I'm not really like stuck on one method of everything. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I might be like, you know what? I'm gonna put some black eyeliner on there today. Yes, sir. Trying to make sure this is straight. It would be fabulous if one light came out with other colors. We are going to get other colored eyeliners. I don't know if they're gonna be liquid. I think they're gonna be pencils. Stay tuned. I don't know when exactly, but as soon as I find out, I will give you a launch date. All right, let's get, let me turn this over here. Let's get the eyeliner going on this eye. Get some mascara. Gotta get those bomb lashes going. And lips.
yeah, my lids are not like young and smooth either. And I'm still, you know, not holding them because this stuff goes on pretty darn smooth. Okay, let's get the wing. No liquid one. Yeah, you know, I used to be a pencil girl. I'm not anymore. Not with this bad boy. Don't be afraid, guys. It does not have to be perfect. You can literally do a really, really horrible job and take a makeup wipe and clean it up and make it look amazing. We did, uh, Alex and I did a video about that method. Was it in November? Yeah. And, I don't know, Alex, let me know if that helped you. That one compares to the wide dip and draw I love. Oh, okay. I can't handle a, a loose brush. Um, I have a L'Oreal one like that. It's just too crazy. This is a brush tip, but it's so fine and controlled that it doesn't go like all over the place. Okay, so do I have makeup wipes? So if I was being super, super critical, I would clean this up, but I'm not even gonna deal with it. Not even gonna deal with it right now because it doesn't even matter. Okay, so let's do some concealer under the eyes and then maybe a little bit of color with the eyeshadow and then lashes and lips and we're done. Okay, so I really, really like concealer number three. It's the same one I used to mix in my foundation today. And I just use a regular brush and I'm going to apply this in an upside down triangle shape here. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna bring it up And now I love three because it's that pink undertone and it'll cover up the dark circles really, really well. But it's almost a little bit too dark for how light I am right now. So after three, I'm gonna put on a little bit of zero to lighten it up. But I don't love using zero under my eyes by itself because I don't have, it doesn't have that pink undertone. So it doesn't cover up dark circles as well as concealer three does. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, so let's put a little bit of zero. Let's lighten it up. And we'll blend that out with our blender full. I lost my Burt's Bees um, chapstick. I lost it, I'm so sad. I love it. I have a um, that EOS one and it's okay, but it's I really think the Burt's Bees is better. Okay, so I'm just using my damp blender full to kind of blend in this concealer under my eyes. Sometimes I use a little baby, itty bitty baby one, just to make sure that it blends into like that dark area right here. Okay, let's do the same on this side. Hi, Cindy. I was just talking about your daughter a second ago. She sent me a picture of her wearing this foundation and told me that the bronzer was so pigmented she put way too much on. 
<laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi, Renee. Okay, so I'm just blending that concealer. And now I'm going to set it with that translucent powder and it's going to really um, take away the shine and help hide this crease, like this mom crease I have going on right there. And let's use a baby one. So this is dry and I'm just, this is actually translucent. It looks super, super white, but it's actually a translucent powder. So it's for all skin types. I'm going to look up, I mean skin, um, tones that's what I meant to say I'm gonna look up so that I push it into the areas here the creases so that the concealer does not crease and it takes away that shine it mattifies everything and then it sets it so it doesn't go anywhere it ain't going anywhere folks okay see the difference Huge difference. So I like to do concealer and um, translucent setting powder under my eyes before I add any color to my bottom lash line because I want to like clean it up, get all the redness out of my, you know, under eyes and then put on the color. Hi, Mary. That's a cute little sponge. Where did you get that? Either Amazon or the grocery store. Like magic. I know, right? Every time. I can see a graded picture with, with your new phone. Oh my gosh, girl, it's scary. It's a little too good, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we haven't even done any highlighting yet because that's like my favorite thing to do last right before we do like a final setting spray um, but let's put some eyeshadow on the bottom and then we'll do um mascara i'm having fun okay excuse me this is morphe m506 and i love this to start with my transition shade under here and I focus, just like I focus the darker colors on the outer V. Oops, almost dipped it in the wrong color. I focus more on the outside area of the eye here too. Because it will just make your eye look bigger. I'm going to actually do one side with the color under the bottom so that you can see the difference. So just like on the top lid, I start with the lighter color and then I'll get a little bit darker, but I always keep the dark colors close to the outside. Uh, what did I do? Blush hour. So I did one night sand and then blush hour. Okay, now I'm going to get a smaller brush, make sure it's clean. I got my little tissue here. This is E36 and I really, really love this little itty bitty tiny brush for right like in the outer corner. And so let's just grab some brownie points, like teeny tiny little dab will do ya. Blend it in, stick to out here. Let's do a little bit more. Let's do, let's get a little crazy. And then you can always go back with that bigger brush and just like kind of like blend it all together and bring it down a little bit. Hi, Maria. How is your baby? She looks so cute. She's getting big. Hi, Amber. Hi guys. Okay, so see the difference? See how this right here, just adding that color on the bottom lash line really makes the eye 
look larger. Yes. Yeah, let's, so let's do that to the other side. Hi, Cheryl. Um, so if you guys are just hopping on, this is my first live with my iPhone X. I love it, but it's also very scary because I can see everything. I don't know, can you guys tell a difference? Give me some thumbs up if you can tell the difference between, I had an iPhone 6 Plus before this, so I was like super due for an upgrade. Okay, so I'm using One Night Sand, and I'm kind of just focusing here on the outer part, trying not to poke myself in the eyeball. And now I'm gonna get blush hour. Maybe it would help if I did this. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and also too guys, um, what do I do with that little itty bitty brush? Here we go. Let's get some brownie points. Get that on here and then we'll do some mascara. Um, what was I gonna say? My Christine's Makeup Lounge is now just confidence and curls. I am doing all of my product promoting on my personal page already. So that group is going to be strictly for giveaways only. So get on over there, check it out. It's called Confidence and Curls. Um, I'll probably post a link to my group um, in this feed once I hop off. It's a closed group. It's not a secret though. It's no secret, but I cannot be doing giveaways on my live public profile. So head on over there if you wanna see what it's all about. Okay, time for mascara. So, I have the Limelight Perfect Mascara, which has built-in fibers. Um, I'm also going to turn on my heated eyelash curler that I love so much, which might need new batteries. We'll see. Starts out red, if it turns clear, it's warm. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna put Voluminous on as a base coat. I've been wanting to try this out and see how I like it. I get really, really good length with the Perfect Mascara, but I also want to um, get some good volume. So it's kind of nice to have like a, a cheap mascara on as a base, just to have some product on there already to work with. And then I put the perfect mascara on top. And then once my lashes dry, then I use that heated curler. And it is amazing. If you've never seen me use that before, it's seriously a $9 product at Walmart. Go get it, it will rock your world. Okay, so I've got a good amount of this voluminous on my lashes. Good amount, right? I'm going to go right when the lashes are still wet. I'm gonna add my perfect mascara and get some fibers in there. Just a little bit. Can we see good? Okay. This, I swear like these lashes, these little itty bitty baby ones are like the hardest to get product on. I like 
like it. Okay, let's do the other eye. <clears throat> if you're just hopping on, say hi. Let me know what kind of phone you have, I'm curious. Who has the X? I swear these these lashes get curly like my hair. Yes, right, Mary? I love it. I found that in Walmart one day, and I was like, ooh, heated eyelash curler. I'm going to have to try that. I am not a fan of the metal eyelash curlers. They scare the hell out of me. <laughs> I want the X. I have the six. That's what I had before this one, Renee. And uh, the quality of pictures that this one takes is like borderline scary. It's like scary good. I was taking pictures of my, my dog, Belle. And you can see like all of her little, the detail of her little hairs and everything is like crazy. Okay. Let's move on to that perfect mascara. Yes, girl, I got the X for Christmas. That was my Christmas present. That was like all I wanted because uh, I'm a mom and it's more important to me to spoil my kids rotten than to get anything for myself. And I always get what I want. So all I got was a new phone, <laughs> but it's good. And I got a, um, an adorable pink glittery case that fits my personality, it matches perfectly. And I got a cool little pop socket too. Which I did want one of those too for Christmas and I got it. Okay. Let's, guys, my eyesight is getting worse can barely see. I want it so bad, the commercial. Okay, so there was a, um, I was dead set on getting the eight plus, and then I did a little bit of research right before we left to at and I Googled um, the picture quality between eight plus and X, and it was, um, there was a video where somebody was comparing the two phones in downtown San Francisco. Can't remember for the life of me what it was called, but I could tell on my computer the difference, how crisp the X was versus the eight. And I was like, okay, whatever. I don't care that there's no button. I don't care any of that. I'll get over that if the pictures are that good. Yeah, and the no um, button, it's not a big deal, guys. I'm over it. Look, it works. Yay. It's clear, it's hot. Hold on, let's do some bottom washes first before we curl. Just, I like to make sure that my lashes are dry before I use that heated eyelash curler. Cause I don't want them to stick. Do you know what I mean? So this mascara has built-in fibers. It does not get crazy and clumpy, which I love. It lasts forever. You can literally extend the life of this mascara for months just by adding in a couple of drops of water. Um, that's not the company talking, that's just me, my own personal experience. I got a little bit on here. It's just a fiber, so I just took a spoolie and got it off. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is a daytime look or an, or a nighttime look? What would you, everybody has their own different like classification. I would wear this during the day, like hands down, no problem. I like to really wear like dark stuff at night.
okay. More of a daytime look. That's what I think too. If you added some more of the brownie points and darkened it up a little bit more, like in the outer V and the crease, you could definitely get this to be a nighttime look. So let's curl these lashes. So if you've never heard me talk about my bad experience with a metal eyelash curler before, I'll just go ahead and tell you again. When I was a teenager, I used to get ready in front of a big mirror on the floor. And I had all my makeup like on the floor, like in the carpet. And I think what happened was, is I stepped on the eyelash curler and bent it a little bit. So it really, it like turned it into scissors basically and um, cut some of my lashes off. And to this day, I'm pretty sure that's why this eye has like shorter lashes than this eye. So after that happened, I gave up metal eyelash curlers because I was like, oh my God, what did I do? So when I saw this plastic one, I was like really excited. It's not scary for me. Sometimes I'll, like if I wanna be really dramatic with my lashes, I will um, do this and then just add on like a little bit more of the perfect mascara because it's got the fibers. If I want extra length, gotta kind of squint a little bit or else you're gonna hit lashes so long they hit your lid you know what I'm saying crazy amazing lashes I got some like curling going on over here my hair is crazy so I'm just gonna like move these to where I want them and we need lips and highlighter my favorite highlighter is from the onyx palette that is one of Lamlight's um, smoky eye eyeshadow palettes and I just take a kind of like a fluffy foundation brush kind of um, this brush is actually from unique it's the contour brush I never actually used this before but I love this brush for highlighter look at that blam so I use this as a face highlighter I use it under the brow. It's warm in here, guys. That's why I like my cheeks look red. You can see everything in this phone. Thanks. Thanks for the flames. Dude, I totally forgot to contour my nose. But I like to put this on the tip of my nose here, and then I'll carry it up just really softly, just kind of like dabbing it down the center. And then up here, the Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin because I really like like the matte look. Um, and then I'm gonna get an eyeshadow brush. Let's use this one, kind of like fluffy. Whatever you like to use on under the brow here. I like to dab on that little bit of shimmer. It's not even like shimmer. It's like just glow. Excuse me. And then I like to just put that under my brow and the inside corner here. You've got to do this ladies. Like this right here will make your eyes look amazing. You look awake, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Trust me, girls. You know what? I'm 
going to get a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to show you the difference in my nose when I contour it versus no contour. Sometimes if I get lazy and I try not to contour and I'm like, oh, it looks fine. And then I take pictures and I'm like, oh yeah, no, it does not. I really prefer the contour. Just very, very lightly dusting on that bronzer. Just very lightly bring it up here. Hi, Nancy. Oh my gosh, are you freezing in South Dakota right now? We're freezing in Texas. Okay, so let's kind of like dab on the product here. I have like a pretty prominent little bone on this side. And so I like to kind of like try to hide that as much as I can. And then I get the bronzer right here, make a nice little round, pretend like I have a small nose tip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so check out the difference that made Love, love, love contouring of the nose. And then the bronzer is a little bit shimmery. So you can take like the um, translucent setting powder and kind of go over it if you want to try to like mattify it a little bit. But I would be very, very cautious with how much you use because you don't want to like lighten up your your contour right after you did it. Okay, so what do you guys think? I've been online for how long now? A long time. Having fun, doing my eyeshadow and my makeup for you guys. Well, for myself, but I just go live so that I can talk to somebody. Okay. This is an old uh, unique brush, powder concealer brush. Um, it Cosmetics also has this brush as well. I've seen it in Ulta. It's like the exact same thing. All we need now is lips and setting spray. So maybe, maybe, we will do my favorite lip combination. I absolutely love to mix macaroon and salted caramel. And I put a little bit of concealer in there with, and apply it with a lip brush. It's just my favorite, that's just me. I love like, mixing things and finding, you know, colors that I love. You know, it would be nice to find right now. My lip brush. Yeah, the thing is so small. Oh my gosh, I found it. Ta -da! Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this macaroon just on the back of my hand and a little bit of salted caramel. My husband's favorite drink at Starbucks is a salted caramel mocha. So every time I say this, I want to call it salted caramel mocha. Hi, Crystal. Um, I'm gonna use a drop of just liquid foundation, I mean foundation, concealer. This stuff is my old unique concealer. I don't use this under my eyes anymore and it's been sitting in my drawer forever. So I mix it with my enduring lip colors to lighten them. So um, let's mix it. Let me show you. I love 
this color. Do do do. One of my favorite shades right there. And you can control, you know, how light or dark you want it. If you went too light, you don't want to go too light with the found the concealer because it'll look like really, really pink or really, really orange. So if you actually accidentally do too much concealer, add in some more of the enduring lip color and darken it up a little bit. My lips are very dry. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a nude now. I'm like really, really in love with nude lip colors. I've been abusing my lips. I've got to find my birth bees. Now I love a bold lip, but I just personally feel like more comfortable in nudes, but I also feel like nude lip colors um, make my lips look plumper. I don't know, do you guys feel that way too? Do you feel me? And I can overdraw just a little bit. Oh, I haven't noticed. I gotta check that out. I went a little nuts over here. So I'm gonna take a straight brush. You could always clean up with concealer too. See, it's just a little bit too crazy there. If you want to make your lips look really, really full, almost like you got punched in the mouth, but like in a good way, overdraw just a little bit. Don't go crazy girls. Cause like you don't want to look like a, a clown or anything like that. But in fact, I'm going to get my concealer. I'm gonna get concealer zero. Now this stuff is moisturizing too, the enduring lip colors. So it's actually a really good thing for my lips right now because they're very dry, adjusting to that cold weather. Okay, we cleaned it up a little bit. Don't want to get crazy. That lighter color too will also make your lips look really plump. Okay, does it not look like I got injections? Hi, Rosa. It's amazing. It's like, oh my gosh, boom, I love it. <laughs> I have extra product. Let's just go like this. This is my absolute favorite lip color right now. So uh, let me know if you want it and I will hook you up. They last forever, they're long lasting. They are kind of like a satin finish, not a gloss, not matte, but satin, you know, so like moisturizing. I'm gonna show you guys something, one more thing, I swear. Send me the extra, <laughs> I'll bottle it up for you. Okay. So one thing about Limelight's waterproof concealer, there's a lot of things I could talk about, but one thing, if you'll notice, this one right here is like yellow, almost green, a greenish yellow. 
they're really for color correcting. So like, it's not so much like, oh, what tone are you? You know, um, use the same color or a shade lighter, you know, for as your foundation for your concealer to highlight or whatever. It's really about color correction. So this one right here, hey Kendall, I was talking about you. My professional mermaid friend. Okay, so I'm gonna use that greenish yellow and I'm gonna cover up this uh, super red swollen blemish. Now typically it's best if you do this before you put powder on because you can't really um, it won't look right if you put cream on top of powder. That's just the way it is. So I didn't do it right. Hey, I didn't do it in the right order, but I just wanted to show you guys how the color correcting works. Guys, I've been having so much fun. How long have I been on here? Forever. And now I'm just gonna put like my regular foundation shade. See, yeah, you can't do that, it's too much. But if I didn't put powder on, it would've been really good. But I went a little crazy. I went nuts. Look at that. Is it possible to cover it too much? Cause that's what I did. I gotta leave it alone or else I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay guys, I think it's covered. Final spray with the 10 years younger finishing spray. Some people like to use this before uh, mascara. I usually don't have a problem with it, like with my mascara running or anything like that. Um. We also have an oil strike finishing spray. If you have super oily skin, and I mean like super oily skin, it will help keep your skin from producing oil. If you're kind of like combination or dry, stick to the 10 years younger. It has anti-aging properties in there and does a fantastic job of keeping your makeup on. Thank you, Marisol. Okay guys, I've got to turn off my, my curler. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna hop off, get over to my Confidence and Curls um, group. Let me know. Thank you, hun. Um, let me know what you think, what you wanna see as far as giveaways go. Get over to that group. I'll post the link below. And if you have any questions, let me know, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.